when people hear the word religion, inevitably they think of a divine being, God. And people very frequently ask, did the Buddha believe in God? Does Buddhism teach the idea of God? It's a very important question. Um, now, if you look at the basic principles of Buddhism, the core principles, the, the center of axis of the whole of the Buddha's teachings, I would say, was the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path. Now, if you look at the Four Noble Truths, it's really not about the divine. It's about an experience, the experience of suffering. And then, what causes that? Once again, the Buddha says, an experience, craving and ignorance. And then the third noble truth is axiomatic. If this causes that, then if you eliminate that, that goes. And the last noble truth, of course, is the Noble Eightfold Path. Now, once again, if you look at the Noble Eightfold Path, the idea of faith is so fundamental to the idea of God, and yet we don't have right faith in the Noble Eightfold Path. Once again, it's talking about pr primarily behaviors, moral behavior, intellectual behavior, and um, meditation or psychological behavior. So when we look at the fundamentals of Buddhism, there doesn't seem to be any room for, for the idea of God. And if you look at the rest of the Buddha's teachings, I can't see anywhere where the Buddha is for the idea of God or really against the idea of God. It seems to me that in the intellectual circles that the Buddha was moving through in the 5th century BC, the intellectuals of the time weren't discussing the idea of God. That wasn't on the agenda. What was on the agenda is how to live a decent life now, how to avoid the pitfalls and the difficulties and the temptations of modern life, and have some form of better life in the, in, in, after death. That was the principles. Not too many of them were interested in the idea of God. Now this creates a problem for Buddhism. Because so many people feel that the idea of God is absolutely fundamental to religion, they say, well, you know, why don't you believe in God? Well, a Buddhist would say the first reason was, would be that there doesn't seem to be a lot of evidence for it. <laughs> so this religion says that God is a, is a unity. Others say that he's a trinity. Some say that God is female, some male, some has no gender. They have all different stories about what God wants, what God expects of us, etc. So if the evidence for such a being was very, very obvious, then there wouldn't be all of these differences. So that would be the first reason. The evidence seems to be rather scarce. The next reason would be that people who believe in God often say that Moral principles depend upon a deity. To have laws, you have to have a lawgiver. So that if you have no God to tell you what is right and wrong, how could you possibly know what, what is right or wrong? You know, how can there be the reward for doing good and punishment for doing evil? Well, Buddhism has something like that without the idea of God. It has the law of kamma. This is, if you like, a process of natural, if you like, reward and punishment. It's based on not what you believe, but rather on, what you, uh, on, on how you behave. So Buddhists do have moral principles. I would say very high moral principles. And in fact, I would say moral principles, for the most part, fairly similar to religions uh, that believe in God. So most religions I know say that mm, killing or being kind or, uh, sorry, being uh, cruel and nasty to others is, uh, is bad. Well, Buddhism would agree with that. Most religions say that you shouldn't steal. Buddhism agrees 100%. So Buddhism has arrived at high moral principles without having to um, introduce the idea of God. Other people say that, and I've heard people say this to me, and I'm sure that they're very sincere. They said, I was going through life, and then I had a major crisis in my life, and it was a belief in God that allowed me to overcome, to endure those difficulties and survive them. And I'm sure that that is true. Many people, their life has been made better 
they've been able to overcome serious crises because they believe in God. That belief in God has given them strength. That is absolutely true. I believe it. But I've met people who have no belief in God whatsoever, and they were able, through their own resources, to overcome these difficulties all by themselves. So I suspect what happens is that belief in God may make you feel better. It may make you think that your strength is coming from outside of you, from a divine principle. Whereas in actual fact, it's your own inner resources that's helped you to deal with these difficulties. And the opposite is true. I have met several people who became Buddhists. They did believe in God. They had a terrible crisis in their life. A loved one died of some awful, drawn-out disease. And they prayed, and nothing happened. And so they lost their faith in God. So sometimes faith in God encourages people to believe, uh, to deal with their difficulties. Sometimes uh, it has the opposite effect. People expect that God or the gods are going to help them. They have a crisis, they don't get any help, and they lose their faith in God. So as a result of this, I would say that the Buddha simply put the idea of God aside. He shelved it. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. In the meantime, let's get along with our life by understanding the Four Noble Truths and practicing the Noble Eightfold Path. And if God comes along, well, we'll deal with that happen when, when that happens.